Oscar De La Hoya has been known to make more than his fair share of ridiculous comments and statements over the years, particularly when he's got his promoter's hat on. And he's just come out with another ridiculous statement. He has said that he thinks Amir Khan can beat anyone at 147 or 154 pounds. If that is not ridiculous, I don't know what is. And all De La Hoya is trying to do here is inflate the significance of Canelo's victory over Khan. That's all he's trying to do. He's trying to make his fighter, Canelo Alvarez, look good by saying that he's basically beat the best guy at 147 or 154. Total and utter BS. There is no way in hell that Khan's going to beat everyone at 147 and 154. That, that, oh my God. That's such a ridiculous statement. You know what? Let me, let me not even go there. Let me not get pissed off here. <laughs> it's just boxing. It's just entertainment. But uh, yeah, what, what, what a silly thing to say by De La Hoya. And he don't believe that himself. He was saying many things in the lead up to the Khan Canelo fight, which he blatantly didn't believe. He was saying, I feel, I'm worried for Canelo. Oh my God, Amir Khan can win this. You know, I haven't heard De La Hoya talk about Khan in such a fashion since he was actually still promoting Khan. You would have thought going into it, you could have easily been mistaken if you didn't know better leading up to the Canelo Khan fight that De La Hoya was still Khan's promoter. You could have easily thought that the way De La Hoya was talking about Khan. Why he was just hyping him up so that when the inevitable happened, which was one way or another Canelo was going to win, when the inevitable happened, De La Hoya would be able to say, ah, see, Canelo beat a, a, a dangerous, legit, serious fighter when he knew all along what was going to happen in the fight. You know, he even went as far as saying it was a 50-50 fight at some, you know, certain points in time. Oh, and, you know, 50-50, it most certainly wasn't. You know, because, as I say, even if it had gone to the the, the, the scorecards, there was never going to be an Amir Khan victory, even if he deserved one. It was always going to be Canelo winning that fight, no matter what. So, yeah, De La Hoya's full of BS here. And he's got his promoter's hat on. So, like I say, when he does have that particular hat on, that's when he tends to come out with these ridiculous statements and comments. So... It is what it is. <laughs> Oscar De La Hoya really only has Canelo Alvarez, you know, on, on his books. There's nobody else really that he has. Uh, I believe Lucas Matisse is still with Golden Boy, but he's not sure about his future. And I don't really know how far he can go anyway. And he's got, uh, who else has he got now? He's got the heavyweight, obviously, Luis Ortiz. And, uh, but, you know, Ortiz don't have any type of fan base. It's interesting, you know, with Cuban fighters. I know there's nowhere near as many Cubans in the world as there is Mexicans, for example. Um, but there is, you know, Cuban people in America, particularly in places like Florida. There's a big Cuban community down there. But the Cuban fighters don't tend to have much of a fan base, most of them. And you know, partly due to the fact that there's a very small Cuban community. Uh, you know, Cuba is a relatively small country. But also, and obviously, uh, you know, most of the, the Cubans who, or all of the Cubans who are going to be attending fights in America are people who have defected from Cuba. You know, there are people who are living outside of Cuba. So there's that element to it. But there's also the element of Cubans not always being the most entertaining fighters. Technically very good, good boxers and whatnot, but usually not that entertaining. You know, there are some exceptions out there. Um, the light heavyweight Cubans at the moment are fairly exciting fighters. Uh, Uriokis Gamboa, he was pretty exciting. And Luis Ortiz is also one of them. You know, he's a knockout artist. So, you know, is it possible for Golden Boy to market him and make him into a big star? The heavyweight division is popping right now. It's one of the hot divisions in boxing. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe they'll have something with Luis Ortiz, but because of his age, they don't have much time. And the fact that he don't speak English, you know, is a bit of a hindrance. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, Canelo Alvarez don't speak English either, but there are so many uh, 
Mexicans and Spanish speakers in the United States that at this point in time, it barely matters, <laughs> you know, but uh, people do bring that up, you know, if you, if you can't speak English, but if Spanish is your first language, then it's not so bad. If you're someone like Golovkin, where, you, you know, you, you speak very poor English and you don't speak Spanish either, I think that's more of a problem. Anyway, I'm going off on some weird, <laughs> different direction here. Let me br bring it back on track. Um, yeah, Canelo Alvarez, uh, sorry, uh, Oscar De La Hoya and his comments about Amir Khan and, you know, trying to basically boost Canelo's victory by saying that Khan can beat anyone at 147 or 154. Do you guys actually believe that? Do you, any of you actually agree with De La Hoya? If you do, drop it in the comment section below. If you don't, do the same thing. All right, it's your boy Hatman, I'm out.